Okay, so you think you can take the derivative. Let's go for the first question. Which of the following is y, parentheses 5, and this notation means the fifth derivative of the equation, y is equal to e to the 2x. And for the fifth derivative, we just need to take the derivative of this 5 times. Okay, let me write down the original equation, e to the 2x. For the first derivative, let me write the prime notation, and the derivative of e to the something will be just e to the that thing which is just e to the 2x. It pretty much just repeats itself. However, we will have to multiply by whatever the derivative of this thing is, that thing is, which is 2x. And derivative 2x is just 2. So we will multiply by 2. And as we can see here, we can rewrite this as 2e to the 2x. Okay? And for the second derivative, let me use the double prime notation. Looking at the first derivative, which is 2e to the 2x, and the derivative of that is pretty much, once again, it repeats itself, e to the 2x. And once again, we will have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, the inside function, which is this, the 2x. I will have to multiply by 2. And here we will get 2 times 2, which becomes 4, and the e to the 2x stays the same. So we get e to the 4e to the 2x for the second derivative. And then for the third derivative, once again, we pretty much just write this down, 4e to the 2x. And then we multiply by the derivative of 2x, which is once again, just multiply by 2. And as you can see, this is kind of like a pattern, right? It's kind of fun for this one. So 2 times 4, well, 4 times 2, it's equal to 8. And then don't forget the e to the 2x. And now, um, we are going to go to the fourth derivative, and instead of putting four primes, I will write this as a parentheses and a put a four. This is like a standard notation for the fourth derivative. And we we're just looking at this, which will be just 8e to the 2x, and once again, we will have to multiply by 2 because of the chain rule. Multiply by 2 because of the derivative of the 2x, and I shall do that as well. And here we get a times 2, which is 16, and the e to the 2x stays the same. And then last one, the fifth derivative will be just pretty much this, 16e to the 2x. Then we just need to multiply by the derivative of 2x, which is once again 2. Then we will just get 16 times 2, which is 32 e to the 2x. And as you can see, um, from, the, from the answer choices, choice the, uh, the first choice is the answer. Or choice G, well, this one right here stands for good luck. Good luck for the rest.